Well, I'm now going to drop the export to plan uh, feature in, onto my scene. Well, actually, this triggers the cutting optimizer of our uh, Woodlab application. To remind you, Woodlab is a kind of uh, um, suite uh, like uh, uh, Microsoft Office. Uh, we have a cutting optimizer and we have the cam, automatic cam for the CNC machine. So this is actually the, the cutting list of, of my project with all uh, the different uh, parts and all the different uh, cabinets that are uh, here in this cutting list. We have for each part uh, lots of information. Actually we have in this project two kind of uh, material. We have um, uh, a kind of um, uh, valnut, um, probably melamine panel uh, in two different uh, thicknesses, uh, 16 and 19 millimeter, available uh, in size of 2800 by 2070 millimeter. All right. Um, we can do a lot of things here. We can even manage offcuts, uh, virtual store, and stuff like that. But this is not the purpose of this video. And I'm going to um, select um, some parameters to execute this uh, cutting optimizing. And I just uh, start with um, the optimizing itself. So it, it's quite fast. And we have here two uh, different uh, cutting patterns, uh, one for the uh, 16 millimeter thickness and the other one for the 19 millimeter thickness. Okay. Um, for example, I could uh, restart this uh, optimizing and select um, different, uh, uh, a different uh, cutting depth um, to uh, have a look at what the benefit could eventually be. And maybe this is uh, a better uh, cutting uh, for, for my production. You do, well, uh, you do as you please. Uh, what is sure is that, of course, we have a grain direction, so uh, each and every part are correctly uh, oriented uh, according to uh, uh, the grain direction. Here I notice that I forgot to set uh, edge bending on the, on the laterals, uh, unfortunately, but okay, that's, uh, that's not a problem. You can even edit uh, the cutting uh, schemes and the cutting patterns. You can do a lot of stuff here manually which is quite interesting you can generate uh, layouts you can generate different uh, reports you can uh, automatically export this uh, to uh, uh, an excel sheet uh, well you can do a lot of things uh, but again this is not the purpose of this video fine uh, we can now export our project to uh, the cam uh, you do it exactly uh, this way and uh, it's a quite a um, um, fast process. And when this is uh, finished, we can uh, actually start Woodlab Cam and load our project into uh, our application. And this is uh, my project called, yes, my project. <laughs> um, and it's going to be loaded. And indeed, uh, I have two different uh, cutting patterns, uh, one for uh, the material of 16 millimeter thickness and the second one for the 19 millimeter thickness. I think you can easily uh, recognize the different parts here that have been spread on the material. And this is ob obviously the fronts, the doors and the drawers fronts with uh, the necessary cutting for uh, the handle and stuff like that. So, well, actually it's quite simple. The only thing you need to do is click on run. This is uh, a BS machine with a BS Chix uh, post processor that can be exported to uh, a BS machine running with uh, B solid, for example. And uh, right now at the end of this uh, fast process, you get uh, the program that must be started on the machine. And that's it. Uh, let's have a look at this. We have here indeed on the right side, you can see the, the program that has been generated in the format uh, BS Cheeks. Uh, here are the different tools that are going to be used uh, to drill actually and to uh, cut and calibrate each and every part. 
you can have a closer look inside uh, a part if you want. If I click right here, I can see that this is a 5 millimeter diameter with a depth of 40 millimeter, which is going to be processed with uh, a tool called Punta 5. Um, if we browse to uh, some other uh, parts, maybe we can have a look at uh, um, well, the, this is a, uh, a fitting, for example. So um, actually, that, that that's all. It's it's uh, it's over. You can uh, just uh, go to the machine and start the uh, uh, machine and start with your production. Well, indeed, we should now find uh, two programs somewhere. And uh, yes, I'm going to browse on my hard disk and I find a folder my project and two VSHX uh, file. I, actually, if you are uh, familiar to um, <coughs> codes, uh, BSHX codes, this is what it looks like. But anyway, uh, you shouldn't have a problem to load um, this program on your machine. And that's it for today. I thank you very much indeed.